Hi, my name is Porva. I am a lead product manager at Uber. The work that I'm doing does have an impact on such a large scale of people. Back when I was at Microsoft working on Windows, literally the stuff I was touching, hundreds of millions of people were seeing that. And honestly, that just sometimes makes you nervous, but it's also so exciting that you can be working with a small team of people and literally be doing something that touches the lives of so many people. A 2D array stores elements in a table consisting of rows and columns. When we want to access elements in the 2D array, we can either move row by row or column by column. Row major order is the process of traversing a 2D array by accessing each row from top to bottom. Let's say a teacher gives a daily quiz in their class. They track the student's scores in a 2D array. Each row represents an individual student. Each column represents the score for that day. To get each student's scores for the entire week, we can access the row for each student. This is traversing the 2D array in row major order. To set up this kind of traversal in Java, we need to use two nested for loops. The outer loop will traverse each row in the 2D array. It starts at index zero and repeats for the number of rows. The number of rows is equal to the length of the outer array. The inner loop will traverse each column in the current row. It also starts at index zero and repeats for the number of columns in the row. The number of columns is equal to the length of the inner array. We use index zero to refer to the first row and get its length. If we include a print statement and run the code, the outer loop would start with row zero and the inner loop would iterate through each column. Once we traverse a full row, the inner for loop is done. The outer loop now increments the value of row to move us down to the next row. Now the inner loop repeats, starting over at column zero and moves through the array. This process continues until the outer loop reaches the last row. When we access data by traversing each full row from top to bottom, we are traversing in row major order. <laughs>